In this presentation, we will understand how to remove dictionary items. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is removing an item using pop method. The second topic is removing an item using pop item method. The third topic is removing an item using del keyword. The fourth topic is removing a dictionary using del keyword. And the fifth topic is empty a dictionary using clear method. Let's start with the first topic that is removing an item using pop method. We can remove an item or a key value pair of a dictionary using pop method. It simply removes an item using the key of that item. So, if we want to remove a specific item of a dictionary, we can refer to the key of that item and we can delete that item using pop method. Not only this, pop method also returns the deleted item's value. So, not only it deletes an item using the key of that item, it also returns the deleted item's value, not the key but value. The syntax of the pop method is as follows. First, we need to specify the name of the dictionary, then dot, then pop, then within parentheses, we can specify the key of the item which we want to delete. In order to understand this better, how this works, let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's type this command car equal to brand Audi and model Q7. Let's say this is the dictionary and we want to delete this key value pair of this dictionary. In order to delete this key value pair, we must use the key of this key value pair which is model. We can pass this key to the pop method and pop method will take care of the rest. Now let's hit enter and type this command car.pop model. With this method pop, we can delete this key value pair by passing this key to this pop method. Now let's hit enter. As I have mentioned, pop method not only deletes an item, but it also returns the deleted item's value. And that is what we are getting here. We are getting this value from the pop method. Now let's see whether this key value pair is deleted from this dictionary or not. For this, we will type car and then we will hit enter. As it can be observed that we are getting this dictionary with just one key value pair. This means that the car dictionary is updated. Now, as we have understood how to remove an item using pop method, let's move on to the next topic that is removing an item using pop item method. We can use pop item method to remove an item from the dictionary. The difference between pop and pop item is that pop item removes the last inserted item. So, it does not require any argument within these round brackets because it always deletes the last inserted item. Not only this, it also returns the deleted item as a tuple. So, it will return the entire item, not just the item's value and it will return it as a tuple. For now, think of a tuple as a list, but in place of square brackets, we will have round brackets. This is all we need to understand for now. Later on, we will understand tuples in greater detail. Okay, now let's see the syntax of the pop item method. First, we need to specify the name of the dictionary, then dot, and then pop item. And within round brackets, we do not have to specify anything because pop item will always remove the last inserted item. Now, let's see this in action. For this, we will open our command prompt and we will consider the same car example. This time also, we will delete this key value pair and we can delete this key value pair using pop item method because this is the last key value pair in this dictionary. So, let's delete this key value pair using pop item. For this, we will type car.pop item. Now, let's hit enter. We are getting this key value pair within round brackets. This is called tuple. Now, let's see whether the dictionary is updated or not. For this, we will type car and we will hit enter. 
we are getting this dictionary with one key value pair brand audi model q7 is deleted from this dictionary car now as we have understood this topic let's move on to the next topic that is removing an item using del keyword now let's learn how to remove an item using del keyword del keyword removes an item using the key of the item so it works just like pop method but it is just a keyword not a function and one thing we need to understand is that del keyword never returns the deleted item in contrast to pop method the syntax of the del keyword is del then the name of the dictionary then within square brackets we need to specify the item's key so this is the syntax we can follow now let's open our command prompt and let's consider the same car example let's delete model q7 using del keyword for this we will pass this key model within square brackets let's do this del car model now let's hit enter we are not getting anything from this del keyword because del keyword never returns the deleted item it simply deletes the item now let's check whether the dictionary is updated or not for this we will type car and let's hit enter now we are getting this dictionary with just one key value pair so this is how del keyword works now let's move on to the next topic that is removing a dictionary using del keyword we can even remove the entire dictionary using del keyword for this we can follow the syntax del dict name this means we just need to specify the name of the dictionary in order to delete the entire dictionary now let's open our command prompt with same car example and now let's delete this entire dictionary using del keyword for this we can write del car that's it now let's hit enter and now let's check whether the dictionary is deleted or not for this we will type car and let's hit enter now we are getting this error name car is not defined this is the clear indication that car is not available we are in reality referring to the deleted dictionary that is why we are getting this error car is not defined so this is all about del keyword now let's move on to the next topic that is empty a dictionary using clear method if the requirement is to just empty a dictionary not deleting a dictionary then we can use clear method clear method empties a dictionary and the syntax is as follows we first have to specify the name of the dictionary then dot and then clear the job of clear method is to empty a dictionary let's see this in action we will consider the same car example this time we will empty this dictionary we will not delete this dictionary but we will empty this dictionary for this we will type car dot clear let's hit enter and now let's again type car and hit enter we are just getting these curly brackets and there is nothing inside these curly brackets this means that the car dictionary is now empty so with this we are done with all the topics of this presentation and i hope these topics are completely clear okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one